Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since we've done any videos and gotten anything out, but things have been kind of hectic and I wound up with COVID a second time. It really put me behind. In this video, it's not a repair video, but it is an airplane video. It might be interesting to some of my viewers out there. I took up a friend of mine who wanted to see the horseshoe curve in Altoona from the air. So in this video, we're gonna go from Johnstown over to Altoona, get some pictures of the horseshoe curve, and wind up back over toward New Florence and the Ligonier area before getting back into Johnstown. So if you stick around, you might learn something. Weather is better than 5,005. Temperature minus 02. Dew point minus 07. Altimeter 3026. Runway 5 and use expect visual approach. They said we're going to use runway 5. I couldn't imagine them. I thought the guy went over there. Maybe not. We'll uh, find out in a minute. Johnstown Ground Warrior 44580 is at Nolt Aviation with Lima for a north departure out towards to Altoona. Warrior 44580, Johnstown uh, ground, runway uh, 5, taxi via Charlie, cross runway 33 at 5, uh, runway 33 at Charlie. All right, taxi uh, via Charlie, run cross 33 at Charlie to runway 5, 580. I've taxied this way before. Partly. Aaron here. Crossed this one. What's that? And a fold heat for inside or? Yeah, it's basically like a Volkswagen. Yeah. Said we can cross. You could crack your door for a second, get some fresh, get the humidity out. You gotta unlatch the top. Just crack it. There we go. I'll clear it out for a second, in a second. Leave it unlatched till we're ready to go in case we gotta crack it one more time. So this part of it's kinda new for me too, running in the winter time. Right, so. <laughs> right, 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 right. I mean I never had to do that in California, so Johnstown Tower Warrior four four five eight zero is at runway five, ready for takeoff. Warrior four four five eight zero, Johnstown Tower, runway five, wind is calm, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, four five uh, four four five eight zero. One notch. Tower November 94, Juliet Delta, holding short of runway 5, is ready to go in sequence. King 94, Juliet Delta, Johnstown Tower, runway 15, line up and wait. Traffic departing runway 5 is a, a Cherokee. Line up and wait, runway 15, November 94, Juliet Delta. Warrior 580, there will be a King Air lining up on uh, and holding on runway 15. Uh, roger that, 580. Don't have any wind or anything to worry about today. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Very nice. Since he's waiting, we'll just go. Ready? Yep. 
off the brakes. Full power. Airspeed's alive. 60 knots. Get off the ground. You're used to going eastbound towards Altoona, correct? Uh, yes, sir. We're just going out, looking around. Nowhere in particular. Okay, um, the Kinger that's going to depart here momentarily is going to be turning to the northeast towards, um, up towards the Replock area. Uh, so, just, uh, he'll be departing here shortly. Roger that. 5 Kinger 94 Julia Delta, runway 15. Wind is calm, clear for takeoff. And the uh, Cherokee traffic about a mile east of the airport is um, going east-northeast bound. Clear for takeoff, runway 15, we'll be uh, keeping an eye out for that traffic, November 94, Julia Delta. See, I didn't have this crap when I first learned. It was oh, all no. air charts and sit in the FBO for an hour before you, uh... Went anywhere, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, where's our takeoff checklist? Climb, throttle, flaps up. Cleared everything. That's why we use a checklist. Yep. Cruise climb. Like pretty much that little valley right there. Got some cool air coming in. A little bit. Oh, plenty warm though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine four Julie Delta. Once you're a direct Lily, uh, you're likely going to be above the traffic, but he'll be off your nose and about two miles eastbound at a forty two hundred. Nine four Julie Delta. Be like the We're five eight zero traffic at your uh, three to uh, four o'clock and about two miles turning north eastbound to Kinger out of four thousand eight hundred. Looking for traffic five eight zero. Are you staying at 45, sir? I can, if that makes everything easier. Just for right now, if you don't mind just uh, staying at 4,500, uh, that King Air is leveling off at 5 now. He's going to go over top of you here shortly. Absolutely. Uh, 4,500 feet, 580. And 94 Julia Delta traffic at 12 o'clock in about a mile now. He's in sight. He's a no factor for 94 JD. 94 Julia Delta, Roger, contact departure 121.2. We'll see you. 112, 94 JD. See you in a little bit. Order 580 traffic has you in sight, no factor. 580. That was exciting, we had traffic and everything. <laughs> he has a lot more horsepower than us, so he can he can do what he feels like. Exactly, yeah. Hey, Warrior 580, your altitude restriction is deleted, and um, frequency change approved, we'll talk to you in a bit. Frequency change approved, uh, thanks for the help, 580. You know how to fly a plane? Hold this thing? Uh, we're good. Well, I want to play with... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, okay. Keep us going that way without climbing or diving too far. Right, right, right. Go ahead, man. I'm not able to just reset it in this. I gotta make sure. Um... Um... Fun? 
Settings, Wi-Fi. We are on the Wi-Fi. Back to this. Out. You're doing great. <laughs> kind of lily out there. You can see the railroad. Yep. Look, Bob's still on a plane. <laughs> we haven't died yet. What do you want to see? Well, we got a big coal load out down there. We've got the railroad, which was obviously the first modern transportation over the Alleghenies. Yeah. So, and it's still mostly in its same alignment through here as it was in the 1850s before the Civil War. So, quite something. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these tracks, they, they you know, they were put down a long, 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 long time ago. There's been some minor, uh, alignments and things over the years, but mostly the same. Over here, they're climbing when they're going eastbound and descending, obviously, going west into Johnstown. Then, Right. And off to your left and, and see the three power plants back behind you there. I see four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's... Well, I'm not sure what that one is uh, directly north there. I'm not sure what that is, but that would be New Florence. Right. And then... Uh, of Homer City and Shalokta way back out in... Actually, when we kind of loop back around, we'll go over New Florence since you got a good camera. Go, yeah. My aunt wants a good picture of her house. Okay. I've never visited the Horseshoe Curve before, but I guess we are going to go do that right now. Yeah, we sure are. It's funny, when you lean forward, the plane goes forward. <laughs> <laughs> it's light, very light, and I'm not. Yeah, the fuel and us double its weight, so. I, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> How do you know everything from the air? Railroad. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's just a big bend in the in the railroad. It is. It's actually right over in there, yeah. Okay, we'll, head. we'll just kind of meander around. I don't see oh, any yeah. other traffic. Yeah, and that's Altoona out there. So. Right. Right. Obviously. There's another little airport over there. So you're saying it's back in there, huh? It's tucked back in, yeah. When they were building out of Altoona, they followed Catanning Run, which was a, a stream, obviously. And when it started to rise faster than what engineering would allow, they decided to cross the ridge line to get to this ridge line. Okay. They had to build the fill, which became the curve. Okay. Coming up on the horseshoe curve. Bob wanted to see some train stuff. <laughs> so that's it right there, huh? Uh, tucked way back in. There it is, yeah. So on this side of the mountain, it is when they're leaving Altoona, they're climbing westbound. Sure. Peak, peak is right over there, so they crossed the ridge line over there. They had to build the fill in 1853 and 54 by hand, and it hasn't been changed since. How's that? I can go out the back window when we go out across, too. Except there's no back window. <laughs> back here, yeah. I'll get it back on your side. Hold on. Coal train descending the mountain now, right below us. Not hugging you. I'm just giving you some room. <laughs> Very cool. Go top gun and just go zoom down past it. <laughs> Here 
appeared in 18... What else do you want to see? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a good picture for my aunt. Yeah, sounds good. We're doing 108 knots on the ground right now. And we're heading back to New Florence. And I'm guessing that little bit of smoke right in front of us is New Florence's I power plant. I think so, down in, the, down in the valley, yeah. So, if you look out here, can you see the second ridge line out there? So, that'd be New Florence out there. So, it's down in between the two ridges here. Right. A lot of times, when we get storms in Ligonier, when you see storms coming uh, from the southwest or whatever, and they look violent, yeah. so many times those storms will hit the first ridge and turn and come up through here because the ridge line ends and and the the ground, whatever the air currents are on the ground, pushes the storms 75% of the time up and around here. Right. Instead of in Ligonier Valley. There's Evansburg Airport right there. Oh, there it is, yeah. Used to have some uh, stoplight drag races there. They've been using that little bouquet airport by my house for that. Oh. Or they've been running autocross there. It's a shame. It's a real nice, they've got a nice runway, everything. West, West Bend Power decided to put power lines across the one end of the runway. So there was this big fight for a long time. And they finally buried the cables. But then the guy who owned it said, well, I can't expand the airport. He wanted to turn it into like what Latrobe is right, for a business right, airport. Right. All right, it's been 25 minutes. I should probably change the tank in a minute. should come up and tell me because, oh, I didn't set a flight plan. That's why. Oh, no, I did. But um, we'll go ahead and switch our fuel tank since we're just in cruise. All right, so fuel pump on. We have pressure. Switch the tank. Make sure we keep pressure. Give it a minute. Everything's good. Turn that off. The new so if that's Seward, New Florence is basically right in front of us, right? Yeah, well, actually, the other power plant you see out there. That oh, that's the New Florence that plant. That is New Florence, yeah. All right, we'll just go that way then. We're still outside of, uh, we're still outside of Johnstown's airspace, so we don't have to talk to them. Then you see the gap in the ridge out through there. The railroad, of course, goes through there, and Connemaw River does as well. That is Pack Saddle Gap. Right. I don't know if this autopilot ever got fixed. What happens? See if it just keeps us level. I think they had us line up on runway 5 because that other bigger plane was going to be on runway 1 5. Right. So they just stayed just because he, you know, depending who needed more time. Right. No reason to let us sit behind him. Yeah, I think they, um, before the, the autopilot used to be in, hooked up, and so we could, you know, set a course. Um, but when they changed to this G5 system, I think they just set it so it's like a wing leveler. So it's like wherever you turn it on, it's just going to try to continue to go that way. Uh, okay. So as long as we're trimmed out, it should go. Right. And of course, we can check everything. We got temperature, oil temp, fuel pressure. Feels good. We already switched our tank. And we can just double check our cruise checklist. Want to get a picture over here? Yeah, let's do it. There's our house right there. I could see it. So my grandmother, right where the cooling towers are and the uh, yeah, transformer station, yeah. grew up on a farm right there. Okay. Born in 1909. Oh no. There's, this, there's sheets. There it is. There you go. There's sheets. Okay. All right, we need to... Well, it's classy. We're good. I don't have to talk to them. So, that's, there's... That's 271 right there. Yep, that's 271. That patch of wood's my brother's house. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's his house right in the middle of it. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Yep. How far out will they want you to contact them then? Uh, 10 miles. So right now we're 13. But we should listen to the weather. There we go. We're over the hill. We're clear. Coach. Hazardous weather information for Pennsylvania available on flight service frequencies. Johnstown BORDME out of service. Advise on initial contact. You have information Lima. Bill Lima. Johnstown Tower information Lima. 15540 observation. Wind calm. 
Weather is better than 5005. Temperature minus 02. Dew point minus 07. Altimeter 3026. Runway 5 and use a visual approach. Okay. So back in the day, we'd have to have distant measuring equipment, or you'd have to like figure out on your chart where you're at. Be like, oh, we need to call them. We got a little bit of traffic going that way. Should be right in that area. Um, but now, I mean, with a GPS, I mean, this is this is archaic compared to what's in a car, but it has to be certified, right? You know, right. Like this is way better, but it's not technically legal, right? Right. Um, although. They do, you know, allow it, like in airlines and stuff. It's called an electronic flight bag. So we can go ahead and call them. Still on information, Lima. Okay, make sure tower's in. Johnstown Tower Warrior 44580 is to the southwest of the field with information Lima inbound for full stop. We are 44580, Johnstown Tower. Wind is currently calm. Uh, we're advertising runway 5, however, uh, you can, is there a certain runway that you would prefer? 5 is, five is fine uh, since the wind's calm uh, and we're kind of lined up with it anyway, 580. We are 580, Roger, report a 3 mile final for runway 5. Report a 3 mile fin final for runway 5, 580. There's a little altitude. We didn't do anything fun, like bouncing or spinning or doing anything. Um, <laughs> will you need any flaps at all? Or Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. still use them. We're still nine miles out. And of course, a big, big field like that, I mean, there it is on top of the hill. Right, right. And of course, the runway we're going to land on, you know, it's these are runway headings. Well, you're Air Force, so you know all that. Okay. Uh, Warrior 580, information Mike will be current shortly, and the um, only thing that really changed is the new Johnstown altimeter 3024. 3024, uh, information Mike, uh, 580. Might lose altitude. Get a little closer to the airport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're basically, I'm just kind of going out so I can line up with that runway. Now normally what you would do is you would enter a pattern to come in, you know, but since it's not busy. He's like, you know, what runway do you want? How do you want to come in? I'm like, he's like, yeah, just tell me when you're on a three mile final. And since he wants us on a three mile final, we'll kind of head this way a little bit more. Well, we're lined up. Make sure your seatbelt's on. Yep, we're good. Pre landing checklist. Mixture rich, fuel pump on, fuel selector, we've already switched our tank, landing light on, flaps as required. And there's runway 15 that we'll be turning into. Oh, now it's going to get bumpy. <laughs> Alright, we're at pattern altitude. Miles. Johnstown Tower Warrior 44580 turning to a three mile fine wave. <laughs> Three mile final on runway five, uh, 580. Warrior 580, runway 5, wind is 290 at 3, clear to land. Clear to land, 580. 290? What the heck? You said there was no, no wind. Alright, we'll get our first notch flaps in. Wait, no, nope, we'll slow down a little bit. There we go. Now we'll get our first notch flaps in. Slow down. Signed up. Two nine zero. Two nine zero. Notch flaps. Trim it forward. Trim it forward. High. A lot high. 
last notch flaps. We're a lot high. Oh well. Like I said, long runway. Alright, you're gonna have to watch your elbow. Yep, we're got in case I need to move around a bit. Hi. We're good. Turn my back. Made the runway. Oh, nice one. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, let's turn on 3-3. Three, three. 4580, if you'd like, you make a left on 233 three, and then a right on Charlie Tax to park on this frequency. Left on 33 three, and stay with you, uh, 580. This is the big runway. Yeah. They'd have never had this if it wasn't for all the military investment here. Right. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. It was a good time. Good yeah. Time. Beautiful day. Like I said, it's just, it's no fun. I mean, I'd have gone up, I'd have putts around. Doesn't cost me, a, a, you know, a cent more to have somebody sitting beside me. Right, right, right. And look at something that I wouldn't have looked at otherwise. Mm -hmm. Landing, collapse trim center mixture, lights is required. Taxi, he already told us to stay with him. Always do the checklist, then you don't accidentally screw up. Right, right. <laughs> oh, nobody picked up our jocks. Usually the line. Tower Warrior 3037 Foxtrot. Holding short of runway five, ready for takeoff. Park on the other side. Actually, we'll park. We're your three zero three seven Foxtrot Johnstown Tower, runway two three. A uh, correction, runway five. Wind is calm, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, three seven Fox. For snow removal. Park here since I don't want to. Jock's stuck in a propeller. Right. All right. I hope you enjoyed that one. As you can see, my friend Bob, he's a bit of a historian. He knows a lot about trains, and there was some good information along the flight. But We'll get back to making our regular repair videos here shortly, and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Thanks.